Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and replicate uh, the original G20 working group summit uh, from the department and you people have been training well for this event and uh, for what exactly you train for. G20 working group summit will be organized what is the purpose of this entire exercise? What is the aim and objective? Why are we all here? You must understand that, as you are fully aware, that an extremely important event of global, global scale, which is the G20 event, is going to be held in the last week of May in Kashmir. Women Kashmir has been described by God Almighty with tremendous beauty. The people of Jammu and Kashmir are extremely warm and hospitable. We are famous for our warmth and hospitality across the globe. Our Koi Chief's famous head, Ubu Jammu Kashmir, in hospitality and beauty famous head. I was a young, young boy from this school who came here into this hall. I didn't know much about it. I was a young boy, I don't know, probably. That one image of public speaking exercise. It has stood with me because a young boy of academicians and intellectuals and that we had got such opportunities. So you would say that the J&K Tourism Department organized a G20. This is a great opportunity. So all of you are in one way or the other linked to tourism. I would request your heads of the department and all those wonderful who it, how we can upscale it, how we can take it to a global marketing. Do you need me to do anything? Do you need me to talk to somebody? Participate in this event and then you forget it. Don't do that. Tourism is a big engage and work for its tourism and its management and its promotion. It's about all of us working together, all stakeholders. I would also like to especially, especially say a big, big thank you to all. Basically, अगर आप देखेंगे ना the entire G20 setup has been replicated here. और हर चीज़ हमने G20 के दिन जो हुई है, उसको हमने replicate करने की कोशिश की है, चाहे खाओ delegates को की तरह हो या बाकी सेटअप हो वीव इन्वाइटेड स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटीज़ वीव इन्वाइटेड स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम थ्री मेजर यूनिवर्सिटीज़ और दे बीन ट्रेन फॉर थ्री टू फोर डेज और तीन से चार दिन ट्रेनिंग के बाद दे आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट दिस जी ट्वेंटी मॉडल सेशन और एक बार ये मॉडल सेशन हो जाता है दिस विल बी दिस इज़ अ प्रमोशनल मॉडल सेशन जस्ट गिव दी ऑडियंस अ फील कि हाउ वुड दी ओरिजिनल जी ट्वेंटी सेशन लुक लाइक सो दिस इज़ अ रेप्लिका ऑफ दैट तो इस बैठक के बाद पर्यटन क्षेत्र पर किस तरह का असर पड़ेगा एब्सोलूटली आप देखें ना बहुत अच्छा रहेगा इसमें कि हर तरफ जो है अगर हम ये मॉडल जी ट्वेंटी सबमिट कर रहे हैं इसके बाद हम मेन जी ट्वेंटी सबमिट पर जाएंगे तो एक बड़ा एक अच्छा मैसेज जाएगा इससे कि मतलब कश्मीर इज़ सेफ कश्मीर इज़ वेल टू डू कश्मीर इज़ वॉम इट इज़ हॉस्पिटेबल पीपल कैन कम हेयर दे कैन इन्जॉय दे कैन डू वट एवर दे वॉन्ट एंड मुझे लगता है इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रमोशनल पर्पज़ इन टर्म्स ऑफ ब्रांडिंग इट विल भी वेरी नाइस थैंक यू मेरा नाम जमशा मुजफ्फर है और मैं इस जी ट्वेंटी मॉडल समिट में टर्की को एज अ टर्की डेलीगेट रिप्रेजेंट कर रही हूँ तो क्या कुछ आपको कहा गया है किस तरीके से आपको कहा गया कि आप क्या रिप्रेजेंट करें क्या क्या चीज़ें इसमें जी इसमें हमारे टूरिज्म को लेकर डिस्कस होगा इंक्लूडिंग ऑल द कंट्रीज जो जी ट्वेंटी के मेंबर हैं इंक्लूडिंग आर जे एंड के उन्होंने कैसे अपना प्रमोशन थ्रू किया थ्रू सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड ऑल्सो इट इंक्लूड्स लाइक प्रमोशन ऑफ बॉर्डर एंड रूरल टूरिज्म विच इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ टूरिज्म राइट नाउ इन कश्मीर एंड ऑल्सो देर हैज़ बीन द कंसट्रेशन ऑफ इको टूरिज्म विद रेस्पेक्ट टू जे एंड के It has been less uh, like uh, focus on board, uh, sustainability, and also we are focusing more on youth so that they can promote sustainability. Because uh, uh, if we talk about sustainability, it start with uh, starts with the young minds. So that is what is the motive behind this event.
तो आप किस तरह की करते हैं इसके बाद देखते हैं इसके बाद के बाद I feel अगर हम युवा की बात करें युवा की बात करें तो sustainability युवा में इससे एक what we call that motivation जाग जाएगी नहीं that something is being is wrong with our tourism we need to promote sustainability on a global level and also on the local level देखिए आप जानते हैं कि there is a very important event which is going to be organized in Jammu and Kashmir in the last week of May, the third tourism working group meeting of the G20 countries is going to be held in Kashmir in the last week of May. As a prelude to that uh, and as some kind of a participatory exercise where students from various schools, colleges and especially universities are being involved today in a model G20 summit to give these bright young minds a taste of how things operate on a global platform. There are two or three purposes of this one that in the run-up to the G20 event there is massive participation that we are seeing from the people of Jammu and Kashmir, the general public of Jammu and Kashmir jahan pe, uh, students as you say are widely participating in various events. The government of Jammu and Kashmir is organizing different events in the run-up to the main event. Uh, this is in the sense of a public participation for this massive, massive event for us, which is on such an international scale and has the potential to promote J&K tourism on the next level, to the next level at a global platform. Uh, we are also making sure that while we are preparing for the main event, in the run-up to the main event, we en encourage a lot of public participation to get a sense of involvement to the general public, especially young, bright minds. Today you saw that uh, they spoke very eloquently and we gave them uh, ideas. They gave us a lot of bright ideas about tourism, about tourism management, about tourism promotion. You know that uh, a majority of our uh, GSDP is, comes from tourism. It is the backbone of our economy. So therefore, we have to uh, project, promote, manage tourism in Jammu and Kashmir in the right perspective so that it is taken to the next level on a global standard. Look, you know that Jammu and Kashmir in the 60s and the 70s JNK was the prize destination for film tourism. Destination where shootings were a lot of tourism film. Now I am happy to report to you and tell all of you that in the last one year 200 plus movies have been shot in JNK. Abhi, we have big film stars who are coming in. Today also, um, we have a film crew, major film crew and a very big superstar in the town. Aage aane wale wakt mein queries hain. Iska probably reason ye hai that um, in terms of this film tourism, humne ek single window clearance in the true sense of it online. There's an online portal. You can go back to that. You can identify all the kind of locations that you need. You can apply and all the permissions will be facilitated. So there is a very strong facilitatory ecosystem with regard to film tourism. And humare liye, as a destination, JNK ke liye, Jammu, Kashmir, Wadiya Kashmir ke liye, or khas taur pe un destinations ke liye jo hither to untouched hain. We are trying to promote all these new destinations. Again, I'll be happy to report to you that this year, this calendar year, we have 300 new destinations planned. Kiye hue hain. Some of them are already up and about. This may 75 off-peak destinations. You know that there is a carrying capacity of every destination. So therefore, the government of Jammu and Kashmir and the tourism department is trying to project other destinations jahan pe abhi tourists bahut zada nahi jaate the. For example, something like Bangas, something like uh, Lolab, something like uh, uh, Uttarbani and Purmandal, something like Patni Top, something like Bani Basoli. In Kashmir, there is Dodpatri. And is tarah ke 75 destinations have been shortlisted and we are working on that. There is some basic requirement of upgrading the infrastructure, for example, roads and so on and so forth, wayside facilities. We are trying to do that. Isi tarah se 75 new adventure treks have been uh, shortlisted and we are now promoting trekking on these routes as and when the weather permits us. Also 75 cultural heritage. You understand that we have a cultural heritage. Hamari bahut sankron saal purani cultural heritage hai. Uh, and there is a massive uh, need to upgrade 
ٹورزم ان ٹرمز آف کلچرل ٹورزم تو وہاں ہمارا خاص فوکس ہے اسی طرح سے سیونٹی فائیو صوفی اینڈ ریلیجیس ٹورسٹ ڈیسٹینیشنز ہم نے شارٹ لسٹ کی ہیں جس کے اوپر خاص توجہ دی جا رہی ہے کہ پلگم ٹورزم کی طرف کہاں دیر از ویریس صوفی ڈیسٹینیشنز ان جموں اینڈ کشمیر اکراس لینک اینڈ بریڈ دیر از ویریس شرائنز دیر از ویریس ٹیمپلس دیٹ آر دیٹ آر بینگ پروجیکٹیڈ ان دا ٹائمس ٹو کم سو دیر فور وی آر ٹیکنگ اے ویری ہولسٹک ویو اس سب چیز کو ساتھ رکھتے ہوئے وی انڈر آلسو انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ جموں اینڈ کشمیر از اے ہمالین اکالوجی اٹس اے ویری سینزیٹیو بایو ڈائیورسٹی ہاٹ اسپاٹ سو دیر فور دا ڈپارٹمنٹ وشز ٹو انکریج ٹورزم بٹ ایٹ دا سیم ٹائم اٹ ہیز ٹو بی Uh, ecologically sustainable and to make sure that we don't, uh, God forbid, create a situation where some ecologically sensitive spot is, uh, you know, damaged or that kind. And therefore, stakeholders, aap sub stakeholders ka bahut important role hai isme in tourism management, destination management, in tourism promotion, because we have a very niche product of tourism to package and market to the whole world. And therefore, your role and the role of everybody else in our سوسائٹی از ایکسٹریملی امپورٹنٹ ان سب چیزوں پہ بات ہوگی ان سب چیزوں سے ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ جموں کشمیر کو گلوبل اسٹینڈرڈ کا ٹورزم ڈیسٹینیشن پروموٹ کیا جائے مجھے لگتا ہے یہ ہمارے لیے بہت بہت فائدہ مند چیز ہوگی اور ان ڈیلیبریشن سے ان ڈسکشن سے جو نتیجے عکس ہوں گے آئی تھنک دیٹ ول بی ویری بینیفیشل اینڈ فروٹفل ٹو آل آف اس ان ٹورزم ڈپارٹمنٹ انٹرنیشنل اور ڈومیسٹک ٹورسٹ ہمارے لیے بہت امپورٹنٹ ہے فارن ٹورسٹ کا ارائیول آپ جانتے ہیں جے اینڈ کے واز اے میجر ڈیسٹینیشن فار فارن ٹورسٹ ارائیول سو دیر فور وی آر ناؤ ٹرائنگ ٹو اسکیل اٹ اپ وی آر میکنگ شیور وٹ ایور نیڈس ٹو بی ڈن ٹو میک دا ارائیولس مور فیسیلیٹری میک دی ارائیول آف فارن ٹورسٹ مور اینیبلنگ اینڈ دیٹ اینیبلنگ ایٹماسفیئر ہیز ٹو بی کریٹیڈ ایز یور فلی اویئر دیر آر سرٹن ایشوز ان دیٹ وی آر آل ٹرائنگ لائک آئی سیٹ دس جی ٹوینٹی سمٹ ان کشمیر ول پرابلی گو اے لانگ وے ان ری ایشورنگ ایوری بڈی دیٹ جموں اینڈ کشمیر از ون آف دا ٹاپ موسٹ ٹورسٹ ڈیسٹینیشنز ان دا ورلڈ ناٹ جسٹ دا کنٹری